I've been working this uh, rope line since the beginning of this event and been talking to people for the entire year. And I don't think in my entire career of boxing I've heard anyone whose mentality has been more dissected and criticized as yours has this year by other fighters. Uh, can you, just in your own words, just say what it is that this journey has been like? The dark room, the the trainers. Oh, the dark room was 10-10. You should definitely try it. I had a five-day break from training camp, and I was like, I'm obviously going to go back to training camp after five days. And I, um, I didn't want to go like Dubai or Jamaica or somewhere crazy because I'll come back too tired. And this opportunity popped up, actually. So I was like, 100%, I'll take that. Um, when I looked into what it's about, it was a good idea. Not many people have the balls or the courage or the mental toughness to sit in a room, mm. pitch black by themselves and uh, reflect on how far they've come. So I thought, yeah, it'd be good for me. Phenomenal experience, um, refreshed. I'm not saying it's in the past now, but at the time it was really good for me and I'll definitely do it again, 100%. Did that have something to do with you deciding to look for a new trainer and, and finding uh, Ben no, Davidson? No, no. That was just because I had a five day break, but I really wanted to rest and recover. I didn't want to go somewhere where I'm going to meet people, going out for food, talking and shit. I wanted to really rest and recover. So the dark room was the perfect spot. Where that's all I could do. No phone, no communication with no one, no visuals, no music. <laughs> Honestly, you should try it if you can. We're all going to die one day. So I'm someone that builds up a lot of experiences in my life. Have you felt like it has been necessary to recalibrate your mentality and to bring a, a stronger uh, attitude to the ring. Yeah, you have to. If you want to win, you have to. We know that the, the Anthony Joshua, Deontay Wilder fight is what we're all here expecting to be announced at the end of the night. I've got to win. That's why I'm focused on Otto Welling. But, it's, but you've said that you'd rather fight for a title than yeah, fight of Wilder. Of course. Wouldn't you? I would rather see you fight Wilder. Oh, okay, from an entertainment point of view. Yeah, it's the fight that we've been waiting for for years and years and years. It seems like maybe the biggest fight in boxing. Why, why not have that fight? Oh, what? of course I'll fight Wilder, 100%. But if you was like, you know them questions that they do on TikTok, heavyweight championship or another fighter, yeah. you put me, you put Fury, Wilder, Usyk, or the championship, I'll say the championship. It's not that I don't want to fight these guys, I just value the championship way more than anyone because you've never heard someone say, oh, this person fought that person, but you do hear that they were five-time heavyweight champion of the world. That's, that lives, and that gives brings more money, more business, more than anything, right? So for me, when I'm looking at where I'm going to be in 20 years from now, they'll never say who I fought. They'll just know my credentials and what I've done. Hey, well, you know, well, you see where his energy is. You know, I'd rather fight him than we rather fight for a belt. You know, because sometimes these opportunities don't come around often. You know, um, he's been a champion before, so the opportunity of being able to fight for a title should come around for him again. But being able to fight another rival, something that's been going on for decades to be able to fight him, I wouldn't, I, you know, I don't know why would he pass that up, you know, but, you know, Different strokes for different folks is the same. You know, I want him, but I don't know if he wants me. And like I told him before when I saw him, if we never fight, I wish him nothing but the best and nothing less. And I, I, I really mean that, and I still mean that to this day. Now let's welcome to the ring, coming to us from Watford, England. He brings a professional record consisting of 26 wins, three defeats, 23 of his 26 wins coming by way of knockout. He is the former two-time unified heavyweight champion of the world, AJ Anthony Joshua. Go, I never answered no, man, I still go. Go, 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 Every single day, I'll be making moves till I'm buried in my grave. Uh, to the system, I don't wanna be a slave. Say, fake it till you make it, eh? And if you play that game, then you just might make a change. Rearrange all the bad to okay. Take the worst I say and turn them to a game. Take the best I say.
saying put them on display on repeat in your brain till you're feeling no more pain uh. never slow yourself down you can do some more push past start a pain and you'll find a door open it up and finally explore everything that you thought you could never do before uh. and even when you feel like if you really want to know you know i'm a i'm a i'm a tricky southpaw i'm a good fighter it's kind of a short notice to this fight and also he's got a new trainer so i think that's uh you know that can be tricky there's a little bit of history there there's some amateur fights that you've had there's a uh, plenty of rounds sparring as well and you said that he's a different guy to what you remember how has anthony joshua changed from the man that you used to know well i only know him outside of the ring really i mean inside the ring too but not in a fight like this and my sense now is, I mean, he used to be a happy guy, but I don't know. From, from what I see, he seems very stiff and tense. But uh, I don't know, maybe he's, he's uh, fed up with all this stuff. I think you might be right. Um, oh, oh, and also, let me just ask you this. Uh, I watched an interview the, the other day with Anthony where he said that there will be blood and bruises on Saturday night. Are you ready for that? Yeah, look at the Fury fight. You see a lot of blood and a lot of bruises. I'm here to fight. I'm not here to party and get caught up in the glitz and glam. I want to fight. I want to perform well. Put that pressure on myself. Of course I'm tense because I want to perform. I want to win. I've got that urge to win and I want to hurt my opponent as well. Everybody talking about the bigger fights. I know the focus is Saturday, but so refreshing to Pure have a man focus. talking Pure the focus talk on Saturday. and making sure you're focused. He's making yeah. sure you're dialed in yeah. for Saturday night. Yeah, yeah. Pure focus on Saturday. That's where my heart, my soul, every cell in my body is uh, fully focused towards Otto Wallen and doing what I know I can do. Fifty-one pounds on the nose for the former unified world heavyweight champion. Tomorrow night, day of reckoning, the final bout of the evening. AJ Anthony Joshua, Otto, all in Valin. Twelve rounds of boxing in the heavyweight division. Here they are face to face. They face each other tomorrow night for the final bout of the evening at the Kingdom Arena here in Boulevard City, Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. Day of reckoning. The big boys of the ring. Valin versus Joshua for the final contest. Available worldwide on pay-per-view. Day of Reckoning. can't read you at all normally you're so jovial and happy i'm happy i'm jovial look at everyone here today thanks everyone for coming out viewers at home as well we appreciate you everyone that's tuning in from all over the world we appreciate you as i say this is the best fight card in history and i'm here with you guys and i wouldn't want to be anywhere else in the world right now you've known him for a long long time how confident are you that you're going to get the win or do you expect it to be very difficult 
Well, if my prayers are answered, I'll get the win. I've been focused, praying hard, and whatever God wants for me, I'm going to follow that path in it. Who knows? But I'm making sure it's not just prayer, I'm following up by action as well. Eddie, he took this fight on short notice, a very tough opponent. Did you try and dissuade him from taking this fight? No, he, he knows. You know, the training team knows. You've got to go through people like Otto Wallin. He's come, he's, he's talked a great game. We'll see if it's real or false confidence. Doesn't matter, he's ready. You're going to see what I believe is the best heavyweight in the world tomorrow night. You're going to see a dominant and brutal performance. He's going to take this guy out. Remember these words. All right, and Anthony, obviously all in the media right now, everyone's talking about a future fight. You versus Deontay. We saw Tyson Fury had a fight signed with Usyk, and he almost got beat by an MMA guy. How are you focused on this fight and not worried about that fight? Let me not make that same mistake. Listen, I'm a serious fighter. I'm a serious businessman as well. I've got a great team behind me. They're handling business, but... As I always say, let me focus on what I've got to focus on. Without Saturday night, there is no future. So Saturday night, as I've been saying all week, that's been my main focus. So whatever happens in the ring, I know that's where my heart is, isn't it? I need to get this win. I hope everyone's supporting me. If you pray, put me in your prayers, and let's go out there and handle business. And as I said, I appreciate everyone for coming out. Lots of love, yeah? Bless you. There you go. The smile's back, everybody. Give it up for Anthony Joshua.